Welcome to Inside the Box, episode three. Today we're going to be talking about Reillusion's new release pack, the iClone Avatar Toolkit 2. You can see it here on the screen itself. Wonderful little tool for creating different uh, characters from props accessories that you can in turn have full motion puppeting uh, availability with and uh, they have on their website several different samples they do have tutorials already posted online so i'm not going to do an actual tutorial i'm just going to open up the box itself and show you some of all the fun gadgets and gadgets in it itself but you can see the actual tutorials on the Reillusion's website here, the introduction to the avatar builder and how to uh, begin creating your own characters with the toolkit itself. And we're also going to talk about the Tune Maker pack that goes along with it. They are sold separately. You can buy them as a bundle. The I'm looking at both of them, the iClone Avatar toolkit itself, which you do need to have obviously for the Tune Maker pack if you buy just a tune maker pack without the avatar toolkit you won't have the ability to create obviously the uh, the puppeting and the the controls thereof so let's take a look at the toolkit itself so when you purchase and install the toolkit itself it's going to show up for you in a couple of different locations First, there's the project files that come with Avatar Toolkit. And you can see here that they have several different project files, all of which can provide you with a test of the different uses of doing the actual puppeteering. You can see this one for a kind of a cool type effect if you're going to be doing some type of uh, biological type scene you could use it for something like this as they have here but they have a number of different projects that you can take a look at and see what the effect is of the puppeting itself here's a one that hey, looks like a like a whack-a-mole type game where they've put in the the actual pup with the size and it puppeted the size and the materials itself so all kinds of different controller aspects again these are in the project themselves that you can load as you can see here the avatar controller and the builder itself are on the scene itself so that's in the project settings the actual builders themselves the actual toolkit itself is located in your prop section as you can see here avatar toolkit 2 when you open it up, there's a dummy tool, which is if you're going to be creating uh, your own puppets, for example, eyes out of, a, out of a prop and want to be able to control them, you'll be using that dummy for the creation or a single structure if you're going to be doing it with for you know something like a hair strand or some of that effect. And the avatar toolkit itself you look here you can see the avatar builder and the avatar avatar controller the controller itself is the main piece so that part of it is the uh, the the crux of the actual um, avatar toolkit itself the other part that obviously you want to look at is the tune maker and in the tune maker itself Sorry, I'll go back and the Avatar Toolkit itself has the the dummy for non-human characters. So when you want to create an actual avatar uh, that uh, that isn't already pre-programmed as one to use the toolkit, you'll attach it to this dummy controller. So that way it, uh, it will recognize the puppet aspect of the accessories once you create them. So that's the, uh, the three main sections for the Avatar Toolkit itself. So let's take a look now at the actual and again this is uh, essential if you're going to be doing the avatars and using the actual tune maker kit and purchasing the tune maker kit then you'll need to have the avatar toolkit purchased itself first so let's create a 
blank stage here so that we can take a look at the actual tune maker pack itself and this pack is a, a really fun pack as far as I'm concerned you can see in avatar you're gonna have the tune maker base and there's four different base characters I'm gonna load all of them up you can see the athletic build it's a very reminiscent of a the the Incredibles kind of style of body type we've got a junior and then we've got a stout character now you'll notice that these characters themselves are basically faceless the reason for that obviously is that you're going to create the faces with the uh, puppetable accessories so they come in different combinations that you can create for yourself the characters themselves however are based on the g5 platform so any actual animations that you wanted to add onto the character itself will certainly work on the characters as a whole as you can see here any of the uh, the existing motions that you might have for the library and including the actual puppeting of the face itself so if you wanted to puppet the the face itself you can see the mesh itself will still move and obviously their lips are capable of lip syncing if you import any type of script onto them any uh, crazy talk this is no you can see that we have it the actual the actual pup lip syncing works just camp. fine for them so all in all that part of it is is really really good you can interchange with g5 outfits on some of them again you can see the body types are a little bit unique so you might get some different kind of of uh effect if you tried to uh to do it but let's say we wanted to do a put the uh chuck clone cloth on junior here and you can see that uh, it does actually work the uh, there might be some uh, some issues uh, with the with the uh, actual uh, character itself where the the mesh meets it so you could take it outside into another program and uh, adjust and move that uh, mesh around to to create the the uh, scene for the a seamless uh, clothing swap for it because it wasn't technically designed for that they do have their own uh, obviously outfits that are designed on it but let's take a look at the accessories themselves that's where you're going to find them in the accessories tab you can see tune maker and there's a whole list of all the different components we have nose and there's all several different types of nose options so that you can kind of create your own custom face for any of these characters from the ground up and get a really good look for it same thing with uh, hair different hair options that are available we're gonna put uh, some of these together now in uh, no particular order eyes will take in and pick a male eye here doesn't really matter again I'm just doing this for example purposes so we can take a look at what's actually in the pack itself get some eyebrows up as well for the character and we want to do some maybe some ears for him as well so now we've got a character as you can see that now has the cartoon face that you can actually uh, puppet and in order to puppet that we want to go back to our props as I said and drop a controller onto the stage so that controller will control any and all of these accessories so for all the different characters to do so very very simply you select your character and as you can see now the controller lit up because all of the actual different body parts that we added like the mr. potato head pieces now have the ability to be puppeted from the panel and you have the different tabs in the avatar control panel which makes this to me again a really really versatile uh, system you can do full expressions that are already pre-built into it from the controller and you can record these and the great part about this is you can you see the record button you can actually layer those animations over top of one another with the expressions and whatnot 
you can control just the eyes if you so choose as opposed to uh, the whole expression itself we've got eyelids themselves in this case there's eyebrows for them you can see we can control them same thing all in different uh all in different options that we can use for the uh the puppet controlling ears if you want to have the, the ears moving around for whatever reason and if the uh, other in this case the hair so if you're doing some type of uh, action animation and you want to have the the hair moving as well all of these things you can do so as a whole it makes for a really really good package in again in my opinion you can customize all of these with yourself you can play around with the with swapping out clothing styles like i said you uh, you very well might need to pull it into a, a different program like a zbrush or something just to adjust the mesh to to fit if you do do that i have some samples that uh, you've seen in the in the video obviously which is exactly what i did with those particular items now the other part that you can do they all come with two sets of clothing if you take one any one of these tune characters and in the media folder you can see where you have your tune maker and they have uppers lowers and shoes so we'll say take a look here at our at our athletic build and we want to turn them into a the i guess it's a, a, a more of a, a superhero look itself whoops we want to do his lower onto that character we have the lower body um of the character itself and again if you wanted to apply that onto the character the 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 character can then be uh, adjusted to fit we've got different upper as well for him same thing you can then move him around and there was shoes i think i saw for for that you can do different types of of shoes for the character itself and we've got curvy shoes curzon jr and i guess for the incredible mr incredible type character the athletic guy here there's uh only the one pair of shoes it looks like look but we've got curvy's got bare feet and a couple different types of high heels so those themselves oh there's the shoes they're hiding over in the lower section as opposed to in the shoe section so he does have two pairs they're just listed in the lower so in case uh you uh, go missing or go looking for them so again very very well put together pat the puppeting the avatar controller is really awesome from that standpoint in terms of creating your own fun props the toolkit itself allows you to then create all different varieties you can make your own props you can make your own eyeballs you can make your own eyebrows you can t convert any prop into a part of the character as well you want to put a cape on here and you pull an accessory cape and by using the actual avatar builder that when we load it into the scene and again i'm not going to do the tutorial of it they've already done a very very good job on reillusion itself but you can see here where you can create the accessories and turn your own accessories into uh, puppet controllable uh, accessories for the the character itself so the price point on it i think is pretty good for uh, the whole like i said right now if you're looking at uh, at purchasing the avatar toolkit it comes at 74.95 on real illusions content store and if you bundle it with the tune maker itself the package with the characters it's uh, 120 and the bonus projects are in the avatar toolkit like i said that has the 11 different projects that you can take a look at and see the functionality of the avatar toolkit itself and all types of really cool different applications for the puppet controller with props or characters so hope you enjoyed the uh, the episode and uh, we did speak about it on our wolf and dulcie hour radio show this uh, this past monday and uh, if you have any questions on the this particular pack you can email wolfzone at wolfzone.org 
and I'll happily answer any questions that, uh, that you might have on the, the pack and my review thereof. So have yourselves a, a great day. Until next time.